Welcome back to Age of Conan Unconquered. We are in Ardashir and we are going to do some roaming quests. But first, in the last episode we leveled up. So let's increase our points. Let's see, perception. And let's assign a feed point. Let's see, um, rent flesh. Let's go with improve. Augments the rent flesh feed by adding a slashing damage to each bleeding wound, but increases the conqueror's stamina cost. That's okay. Let's try this one. And let's find someone with a quest. There is someone here. To rush. I speak seldom. W what troubles you? I sent my apprentice to hunt boars. He has been away long. No words or signs. None. Uh, what was your apprentice's name? Not important names. To rush is the only name. Mine. But he was killed and kind, friend. I am scared of what I will find if I seek death. He need not be dead. Go in my place, Turash. Seek out the boar's blood. Find a kind way of telling me if it is what I think. Carcass. Alright, I will find out what happened to your apprentice, Turash. I am grateful. Scared. Goodbye. Oh, this was an interesting conversation. Let's see if we can find his apprentice. are in the area. Oh, there, oh, something is highlighted here, but there's a boar in our way. I was jumping out of his headbutt. Oh, this is a human remains. I have gone out in search of two rushes apprentice and I found a pile of bones in the vicinity of the boars. There is no way of telling if this is the apprentice or not, and I dare not bring back a pile of bones to the sweet hunter. I must find other more definitive proof of the apprentice's fate. Find proof of the apprentice's demise. See. <laughs> this one. Let's place our banner. Oh, that's three. Let's have a potion, by the way. our banner there it is hmm nothing here 
floor rake. Please go back here. Dominant Filayat Tiger. Two young Filia targets. Mature Terranian boar. Oh, bloodied scarf. Let's deliver the scarf. Say what he. I've gone out in search of his apprentice and found bones in the scarf. I will give the scarf to Toraj without mentioning the bones. It f if it belongs to his apprentice, as I suspect, it will be enough to remove all doubt and wrench the hope from his heart. I see, I'm gonna do him a... Gonna deliver a good deed. I speak. Seldom. I have a gift for you, Torres. A gift from you is a sweet thing, ominous. It is from my apprentice death in the world of hunters. It is the greatest peril of friendship. I am very thankful to you, Broken. Let's see, let's roam the steps. Ah, oh. bad crocodile. Oh, as strange as it sounds, I hear a whispering voice on the wind. It's clear as a starless night and crisp like the tip of a sharpened blade. It calls for help. It calls my name. What foul magic is this? My curiosity tells me to investigate, but my instincts tell me to stay the hells away. Ah, uh, well, let's investigate anyway. Strange tree. Talk to the tree. How is the weather out there? Is there someone in that tree? Yes. Help me, please. I am trapped inside. Um, did someone drug me? <laughs> what nonsense is this? I assure you, what you hear is real. 
My name is Zahak. I was once a free man with a family, an honest artisan working in Ardashir city. The Kozaks, ever a threat to the civilized world, did this to me as a cruel gesture of their capabilities. Maybe it's something I ate. I was scouring the land for materials when they came upon me. I knew the dangers of being outside the city limits, but it was standard for me to have to collect the things I need to make a living, rather than kill me outright, as you would expect. Their diviner had a malicious gleam in his eye as he advanced toward me. But I haven't eaten anything new in a while. Maybe I was cursed. The Kozaks held me down as the diviner paced around me, muttering phrases incomprehensible to all but him. He placed seeds on my chest as I tried to struggle, but the Kozaks were stronger than I and my squirming was in vain. That's when the Diviner reached the climax of his monologue, a faint glow emanating from him as he stared at me with a wicked smile on his lips. I haven't left anyone alive who could curse me. This does happen to be a desert, perhaps I'm talking to a mirage. Stop murmuring to yourself and listen to my story. You are not hallucinating. There is indeed a man stuck inside this tree. I'm listening. I apologize. This is not an ideal situation being stuck here. I lost my stamper. There was something about a diviner and a wicked smile? Right. As he smiled and glowed, the seeds began to burn against my chest. I tried to twist once more to shake them off my chest, but it was as though they were nailed down. They would not budge. They started growing larger and larger and enveloping me in bark and root. Soon I was surrounded by darkness. That sounds traumatizing. It is lonely in here. The only things keeping me company are sap and insects. I lost faith in escaping long ago, but I have not ceased attempts at convincing any who pass by to help me try. I have a theory that might work to reverse the spell. All right, let's hear it. I have heard tell of a vulgar ritual involving the blood of transgressors, powered by charms from one who has placed a curse upon another. Blood-related magic is quite foul, but its effectiveness cannot be ignored. I am desperate enough to attempt it. <coughs> so what you're saying is you need some Cossack blood and charms from a Cossack definer? Precisely. With these at hand, I am sure we can reverse the effects, so I can go back to leading a normal life. Would you be so kind as to help me in this endeavor? I'll take any stab I can at the Cossacks. Good. Come back here once you've got what you need. It's not like I'll be going anywhere. <coughs> Alright, let's see. What we can do for this strange tree. Here's a definer. Cossack blood and a Cossack charm. Okay, we need one more charm and three more blood. Oh, there are some dogs here. That's the uh, wounded military man. Let's get this guy. Neophyte. 
Unholy Lightning. The other guy just went through here. Even he has left it. Oh no, he's still going. There's a pillager. Just go back here and wait for the other to respawn. We can kill some more over here. Strange ritual is taking place. Seem very uh, there are two. Go back and see if they have respond. Yes, they have. Definer. We need one more charm. There we go. Let's go to Zahak. The man the tree.
Always pull the melee to the ranged. It was messy, but I drained Kozak blood and wrested the charms from the cold, dead fingers of Kozak the finest. Yes, I'll soon be free. Let me have what you've brought. Now, I can wait no longer. Oh, you fool, you damned fool. You have careened headfirst into my trap. The sweet blood has made me even more powerful than I was before I was trapped in that stupid tree. I hunger for your flesh, mortal. And I am always sated when I set out to feast. Damn it. Ha 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 ha. Oh boy. That doesn't look good. Feaster of flesh. I've been tricked. Big time. The devil in oak. I'm sorry, Gazelle. Who's this? Oh, we're not gonna jump here. No, sir. Sergeant Cruz. Cruz. Yes. Assassin with feline grace. I saw a poster promising a reward to uh, whoever deals with a red problem in the city. The merchants are eager to give the illusion that the streets of Ardashir, like the business dealings, are seemly. The reward can be collected from the city magistrate. The job must be done quickly and quietly, so no, as not to disturb the trade. But leaving a trail of bludgeoned rats is not an option. There is perhaps a creature better suited to this work. One who would enjoy killing and carrying rats away in, this, in its teeth more than I would. I have seen satiated cats by the docks. If I could inspire hunger in them, and get one or more to follow me to the markets, perhaps they could play the role of rat catcher for me. I must find a way of becoming irresistible to them first. Well, what do cats find irresistible? That's right. Fish. Let's make a cat. Oh, there it is. Come on. There she goes. Hmm. Let's go to the magistrate.
Some call me wise, some call me coward. Magistrate, I have come about the, uh... By the breath of Ehrlich, you stink! What is this about? As I was saying, Magistrate, I have come about a rat problem. Ah, yes, one of many plagues upon this city. Much has been done, I assure you. Posters hung, forms filed, grievances documented. So are you my rat catcher, then? Will you dispose of them without drawing attention? It took some fish and a cat to do it, but the rats are gone. Quietly, I might add. Clever girl. Father Shun is exactly that kind of ingenuity. Have you ever considered a life in civil service? I need as many sharp pencils as I can muster. And I don't mean for filing out. For filling out paperwork. Though that needs doing as well. I am open to all sorts of projects. What did you have in mind? In due time, Ratcatcher. You have earned the thanks of every merchant in Ardashir. Take your reward. By Halec, I'm sure we'll find another use for you soon enough. You're welcome. Possible. Purchasable. Fletchlings, two-handed blunt, one-handed etched. Ah, uh, fifty-three point seven. Hmm, we have better, but these are. I don't think I want them as vanity. The. Let's get get one more quest from Azadi, the girl we we recruited for the Hand of Glory. I didn't do it. See anything interesting, little digit? Everything's interesting, big digit. I did see the old reefer. Well, I did not see him, but I heard him whisper. He said you should go back to the shipwreck and gather another haul of golden idols. It shall be another fine harvest of loot. Between me, you, and Elashan, the world doesn't stand a chance. Okay, let's get some more idols. You know, this is a really, 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 really well-designed city. Let's see, it was much more peaceful to play like this, I guess. The sun has a beautiful shadow on the water. The shipwreck is also Fish? Huh, <laughs> it's funny. Oh. Shells? Like a very big oyster. <laughs> Not really got left on this ship.
There is a level 80 dungeon for it artist here. Very interesting. Very dynamic. Instance. You can hear when the danger comes, the streets grumble. Any news for me, Azadi? The old reefer visited me. I didn't even hear him, and I have the sharpest ears. He said you should collect more golden idols as you did before. He said, climb, leap, scour, creep. You're sure to turn some profitable mischief. I shall collect the idols, my little digit of the hand of glory. Alright. Let's see. Seven idols. One near the boat. There are some more over here. There's one. And there's an orb here. But we'll do the orbs another time. Shan. Let's get two more on our quest. A friend in greed is a friend indeed. I have the golden idols, old reaver. Let me see. You should know I see with my hands. Oh, Dashtra. That is some fine mischief. Let us move on to bigger games and bigger spoils. Let us thicken the plot. Here, Elashan. Golden idols, freshly plucked from the wrecked ship. Greetings, O fisher of gold. Let's see what you caught, shall we? I am moved near to tears, Dashtra. Given a man stolen gold, and you feed him for a day. Teach that man to burgle his own, and you feed him for life. Thank you. Let's see, we have two quests. Let's end our stream here. In the next 
episode, we will be going to Dead Man's Hand, a single player dungeon. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.